Hello and welcome. Now it's not very often that I surprise you with you not being me and having repairs and things like that, but yeah, I have a surprise. I do, and this is by the map maker Julian F. Modding. It is, yeah, it's um, it's driving behind us. It is the white field boss. It is. This is our new tractor. It it says it's got row crops, so they don't they look they don't look narrow. I'm hoping that I'm right. <laughs> it's have gone out on a limb and and it did it cancelled my indicator again. Yeah, you did see it flash briefly and then it switched off. So I'm, I must double click. I don't know what I do on my uh, side panel, but yeah, I often switch it on and then off straight away. Yes, I work. This is a bit uh, really heavy, really heavy. I like that. It's almost like got a massive weight built into it. You can see it on the bodywork. So I don't think we're going to need an additional weight if we can have one fitted. I don't think we need one really. Obviously, it's second hand, but at least we now have got a telehandler. Yeah, I've never had this Schaefer. I've always not been impressed with the Schaefers, if I'm honest, in the past. Now then, there were all that we had other dilemmas, didn't we? Ah, it's September, that's right. We need to be keeping an eye out on what? Yeah, there's not. Yeah, we've planted that one, haven't we? Ah, yeah, sugar cane is what we did on this one. And we're really, uh, hopefully, going through the winter this uh, particular session, is what I'm hoping to do. I thought I'd just surprise you nicely. And obviously, you saw I, I didn't reset or anything. No, it, it, I, we did this the good old fashioned way. Yeah, it looks, the detailing is quite amazing, actually, I've got to be honest. Uh, it was except 26,000 something. Yeah, including the way I've not gone for one with a th with a, a thing, but it's supposed to be row crops. So I'm going to just venture out into the field, and we shall see very gingerly because it's supposed to be. Yeah, they don't look it. I realise, but that's what that's what it said. So I shall uh, voyage of discovery. Is this correct? Well, again, I don't know if it's a first growth stage either. That's the other thing that could be. But yeah, that that's pretty uh, compelling evidence. It really is. So let's get that spraying done that we threatened. And I said, oh, no, we're all right. I, won't. I thought after us, no. When I saw this, I thought, you know, how poetic. We need something with narrows. Uh, this... It also has the capability of being 170 horsepower. Now I bought the smallest version. This is the 125 horsepower one. Because really we've already got uh, tractors in that sort of range. I'm impressed with the steering. I've got to be honest. It's nice. I've got a front weight as well which I thought would suit us. I mean I, I, I would, my, I'm rusting to see if the front... You can also have a uh, like a Howell or a... Uh, The quick. I was trying. I could not think of its name yet. Or the quick console. So, yeah, I'm still working on the episode before this. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I'm going to release. Right. Yeah. Let's let's start to unfold. We have got plenty in. Let's just correct this where I have not quite done it right. Well, actually, no. It's not me that didn't do this right. This was a course play course. I'm really quite shocked, but. Horseplay didn't do this. I've never known Horseplay to miss, miss bits of the field, so I don't understand why how, or how this has happened, really. We've, uh, yeah. I mean, I did see it spraying some. I really did. I saw the, the scorched weeds in places, but yeah, I don't understand why it's not done it in these quite large sections. I understand these. Like this little field swish, not this this little tiny clump here, but this one here. Now that could be a field swish. If you look at that, the length of your things, yeah, I can understand why it would miss that. I don't understand these other bigger bits. It's like it's completely not included the sort of thing. So we're going to have to look at this next time. Yeah, no, I do recall I said something about ploughing, didn't I? 
Did I buy a plow in the end, or did I leave it? Because we don't really need to worry about it at the minute. Maybe I did. Right, me. Oh, not bad, not bad. A little tiny bit you've missed. Just a touch. Two little smidgen of weeds. There, got. Right, and then there's this patch here, which likewise I don't understand. It's not like Gosway to miss bits of the field. I, I know it's a strange shape in, in its defence. Yeah, it very rare does course play uh, malfunction like that, really. Uh, and it's not necessarily malfunction, the field shape can do strange things. But yeah, this is like it's missed an entire section. Did I stop it early? I'm going to have to look, because this looks like an entire... It does... No, no it did. It, it uh, unless I moved it and then restarted it because of some... It could have been. You know, when you move something because it's going to bump into something, because I do remember it was something else was on the field at the same time. So perhaps I did. And then I moved it a smidgen, which was just enough to start it on another section of the field. That is possible. I do, yeah, I mean, I know course play well enough that I trust it as one of my, probably my number one mod, if I'm honest, because it is, it's the real worker that actually does work, not not like the uh, in-game one, which is sometimes fantastic and then other times terrible. Yeah, it's uh, course play gets the job done where the in-game worker doesn't, very rarely fails, very rarely needs... Yeah, and obviously he's always been improved, as in the FS19 one, which was also equally, yeah, this has missed half the field. I must, it's got to have been, I do vaguely remember stopping it for something and then starting it again. I think I said about playing chicken or something like that. I seem to recall that. So, yes, yeah, I'm loving where we are with this. I am loving our equipment. It is it is fantastic. It is, well, we we're still at the beginning stage. Obviously, we've got our mower now, windrower. Now, that's what I was thinking about. I, I was talking about the windrower. Now, I often use a European, an Eastern European um, company as my very first one, and I was like, Meh. I thought, look, it, it's as in any farmer that's struggling. You would, you'd have it imported. No, you know, while you can afford a big one or something comes up in the sales. That is the style of farming that we really are. Most farmers are in, really. It's very few could afford the sort of farms that we start with in Farm Simulator, where we've probably got like 3.2 million worth of equipment, where the, the map, map makers provided us with all new equipment, which frequently happens. Yeah, I mean, it's very, very unusual that that type of thing would actually happen. Well, there you go, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Let's zoom in a bit. I don't like to be that far out. Now then, do we top up now? We could do. That is not a never a bad idea. Never a bad decision. Yeah. Yeah, and I do agree. Actually, I would like to. I'll move other things. I'm hoping to remember to um, refill sprayer. Yeah, that's, that's probably would just about. Yeah, I've got some lime left. Oh, and a little bit of that. Let's stick that back. So we have our row crops. Our yeah, we do. We have our narrow. So this can fertilise. It's it is also not a bad weight. Six point six tons. So it's on the verge. We could use this as the um, that, but then we bought that now. So do you know something? We're going to stick with that, even though that is super duper tractor. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that on the front for that particular purpose. Yes, yeah, so we have an, or we have a quite a large team of tractors, really. This would also, yeah, I suppose it would, actually. This would also could double as our mower. Well, if in time, I'm hoping to have two. I, am, I, yeah, I would like to get two of those, but we're at the minute, I'm thinking, let's stick to the one for now. Can we lower? We can. Let, let's do this properly. I think that was what Frithgar was on about in FS19. There was no lower option for one of the... I think it was a mower, actually. And you couldn't do that and drop it. So this is second growth stage. 
our next growth stage we will get the uh, no, we not not now though. We did say that. Oh no, we did. Actually, I think I was saying this. That if we cut this now in September, yeah, we're not going to get maximum from it. But I like my thinking. It's true. It's going to grow again in October and November, and it's going to mean that it's going to start next year, and, at least, and we'll have a have had a cut as well. So unusually, I'm actually doing some work in September. Well, no, no, I do quite a lot of work in September, quite frequently and it definitely works with this because we've already had this on so then let's get this course made and laid in and we will have delivered being as we've now decided that we're going to go for that uh, Eastern European partner that we've had in many let's plays let's set this going and we shall order that alright so we want to create the job and it's selected it for me already excellent and we want three headlands 6.8 meters and generate lovely that looks like a bigger course than I thought it did fields oh it's fields oh now this is yeah grass field spelt correctly Save course, activate, 6.8 meter, and let's first, and let's get rid of that, and go, and let's leave you to it. Right, we are going to have the shop deliver for us that fantastic windrower, which is such reasonable that I just cannot argue with for starting value, whilst... Whilst we do look for a, it gives us time. It, it, I always, always, it always sounds horrible when you say, but you often do choose something like that for the fact that, yeah, let's change that and let's customize. And I do want chrome, and I'm going to go for a different color. Now the yellow one is sim. Oh. Yeah, we've well, gone for silver a few times. I actually prefer that to everything else. Right, let's reset straight away, though. I don't want this to be habit for me, which I can't accuse myself of being as I did, actually. Right, the other thing is, so what are we going to choose? Yeah, so our front loader that we've been using as a front loader, we could now use as a... Although, no, I'm still going to use the pallet forks things, but it, it can now be used as... A tractor also I think we're going to use that now now yeah it needs a bit of a top as well let's grab that we shall leave this around here and detach Ooh. not not terrible could have been worse and we should leave this next to, not in front of, because that, that seems a bit uh, not so sensible to me. Yeah, I'm glad we've got a proper telehandler though, because this, it's, when you have to reverse with this, the reversing speed is a little bit poor. And yeah, I always seem to be, no, no, I'm not, I'm not really trying to have a go. No, it, it, I try to report things as I see them, and that's not really to have a go, because it's, this is, I wouldn't have bought it had I not liked it. But like most models of tractors or anything in life, everything has pluses and minus. But it, it's got very spongy brakes. That doesn't mean to say I'm not going to use it. It is a cracking tractor. It's got a very small tank. It, it uses. It's a bit like a little Zeta that I was going to buy. When I saw this, I thought I've got to take the the field boss because it makes so much sense. It's about in the same price range. Well, no, it was a little bit dearer, but that, yeah, it is what it is. Now, I think that's the second round already. Amazing. Right, so then we need to create another course. And you haven't selected the right field this time, but then that's, I'm not actually over the field. So we want three of those. 
very similar course because it's not much different really. Grass field, safe course, activate 6.5 meters. And we will set you going. I am liking this gamepad friendly. Yeah, even though it's been gamepad friendly forever, I unfortunately haven't always taken note of that fact. Right, so we want to be grabbing uh, 160 horsepower tractor. I think we're going to do this. I do. Or do we? No, because it's steering is a little bit on the... Uh, now, where did we leave the 160 horsepower tractor? I think we left it. It was was on that trailer, then I used it for something. Did I leave it in here? I did not. It's there. I probably passed it two minutes ago. Remember this comes out on the right hand side. Do we need fuel? No, we were right next to the fuel. I think we got some last time. Yeah, I'm loving the team we've got. It is phenomenal for starting. Now where did the window start? Over there. Fantastic. Uh, Bailey, you've just gone past it. Yeah, we put that in the in that thing. In the shed, remember your very words. It might actually fit in there nice and it is about perfect. It, any higher. So that goes to show how uh, how that is yeah. About perfect for that. Right, all straw, so we're going to... Yeah, well, it doesn't really matter, really. Also, with us doing grass, though, we have an option. We can put um, a tap... Oh, we need a tanker, though, don't we, if we're going to do that. We may invest in the future. We might. For now, I'm going to... Uh... Oh, OK, my bad. Yeah, you are right. I do need to unfold. I, I, ju I just did say unfold. Oh, it, yeah, you were trying. It was me being impatient, as as usual. Are we going to time-lapse this? Have a little bit of a time-lapse? That's probably a good idea. Ooh, you were saying about the turning circle on this? Well, no, no, I was saying, yeah, with its articulation, it makes up for the fact that it's a, big, a fairly big tractor, and it can almost stick. Yeah, it's not perfect. It is still a... It is actually for a... It's very, very heavy. If it's, um, it, this will make a perfect a fertilizing tractor because of its weight, but it's not got, yeah, it's not got a three point link, so that's the only sort of downside. Well, I'll do this and get this stuck straight in the Omatana this very session. So I am going to do time ups this year because we've also got to, uh, yeah, also got to do the grabbing. In fact, it, it makes more sense for me to let a worker do this and we will grab the new telehandler to actually sort this out. So then we want the 6.5 meter course. And we want the nearest, which is right where we are. Smashing. I would say you're not gonna be much longer. So we'll hang around for that little bit of time before we go into the time lapse, then I can move you off so that we are yeah, of having four tractors on the field might have been a bit of a mistake. Yeah, you might well get some sort of clash. I've got to be honest, the steering on this is amazing. I shall be thinking of this tractor in the future for first tractors. I'm hoping it would accept the Pepe. We may do a test. Yes, the um, free fields, as I sort of was... Oh, now you're going to... Yes, right, OK. We'll take over. Well, that, that, that would have been nasty. We don't want any accidents on this particular session. No, well, let's finish this ourselves. Yeah, that's why I do hover around on the fields anyway. Well, I often do work too, but yeah, I mean, I am hoping, once we've got this out of the way to actually get the uh, yeah the telehandler busy I missed a little tiny wisp oh and there's a bit of a wisp there as well not many though 
No, it's not terrible. There's no V's like there normally are. On this type of field, you often find this bit here, there are V's, and, and actually the worker had already done that, so... Right, where do we stick this? Are we are, It is true, we are actually a little bit short on uh, f um, sheds. I am wondering whether or not to put that nice, lovely long shed that I seem to be favouring quite a lot, because I like it, um, from Rolly Christie 1. Because, yeah, it's true. We have got a lot of equipment that will not fit in that uh, thing. I know we can fit a bit more in there. But I suppose it does seem highly appropriate. Either that or perhaps the Omatana one, the, the, the open back one, which we could put all of our grass equipment in there. Because it's really the grass equipment, I think, that's really um, accentuated this situation, we could say. Right, so that's on the edge. I, yeah, I think we'll be able to... We're going to use this to its full potential. I've already opened it up, so... Yeah, I would have liked the strap support of the one I'm used to. I don't know what I've done with that one, why I've removed it. I, I used to always have the one with strap support. Now it is... Yeah, no, it is a normal tally handle. Oh, and that actually also plays around with that. That's the only trouble with these things, isn't it, really? Right, let's get this... Uh, see how this handles. So I am now going to say my words. Yes, I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
Now what I want to know is how come we are on the pH thing on the minimap when we're actually doing nitrogen? That That's not a me issue. Not, not this time. I can't take the blame for that one. No, that is definitely weird. It's uh, got stuck. <laughs> it's got stuck on that, on the uh, minimap, uh, literally right. So let's pH. Now that that's more like the nitrogen I was expecting to see. Now that's the yeah. I mean the old nitrogen did look nice and green. It is true. And then they changed it to yeah the different grades of orange and green, which confused me totally for quite a long time. We do need, we definitely need another uh, pallet of. Um, fertilizer so we will have to we do want that delivering at some point now then let's stick the fertilizer where the sprayer goes yeah I think that's where the uh, this paraphernalia goes the back and I'm, I'm gonna leave the front on on this because as it does not come off well it, it's gonna be one of those where it's yeah if this comes off I'd have to reset it, it is a nightmare but yeah I, I won't subject you to just showing you how bad it is it is so terrible right now let's yeah that's the only thing I don't like about sheds like this it's all the catching of the cameras for a content creator it really is a bad idea it really is but yeah you, you've got to you've got to do these things sometimes I suppose I could leave this in here actually for now yeah because I'm hoping that we get to a goodly way through the winter really that's the last job that we've got this year I think and then uh, yeah, we'll have a look as well how much grass we actually got yeah going forwards I will be getting a water thing and we'll do the because you can get digestate from it as well which really would uh, be fantastic but yeah with the grass it's a massive advantage but right now yeah I'm not gonna yeah I'd soon crack on so we've got pH value perfect nitrogen perfect and how much grass did we get off of quite a few bales because these are small of us I was I've got to be honest I'm a massive fan of the Roberts pack not so that no it's uh, the jostled off way too easy I, I, I suppose I'm spoilt with a lizard one that I used to have which also had strap support but even without the strap support I didn't always use the straps it actually didn't jostle them off the Forks. This one just seems to just drop straight off, which is really awful. So we will be swapping them without a shadow of a doubt. So 79 tons of grass, uh, maybe yeah, maybe 80,000. Look in the silage conversion already, right? So we've done the, done the grass, and we will have checked what's in the sales. But then you can get other things for. Yet yeah, were we not? It is true. I often say sprayers. I've, I'll, uh, yeah, it's. I never do do them because we are butchering our own production. But that doesn't mean to say I couldn't buy it in, and I think that's what I've got to do if I'm going to go with the sprayers. So I like to do that sometimes, to be honest. But yeah, it always butchers because if you're using the digestate, then we're not selling the digestate, and that is part of our model. And usually, it's on almost every let's play. The same as the biogas plant makes a natural first. Well, it has. It saved our bacon on this particular let's play. So we've still got another, yeah, quite another couple of tons of straw. Yeah, a couple of days, a couple of tons. Got quite a bit more than a couple of tons. So then I think we've got. A fit. Yeah, I was forgetting. Although that is a fantastic articulate tractor, it's still it's still got a normal bad turning circle for like things like that. And obviously the workers know they're going to clock or come very close to. So don't do it because that was a three. Very rarely do you put three headlands and you need to worry about something hitting something else. So, I, yeah, I don't know that we'll be using that one. I think these two are both equally poor on the turning side. So I think we're going to need something you more intricate. I just It's that, that old thing about I don't like to use a challenger for everything because I could easily love it. It's fantastic and it turns on a dime for saying how big it is. That's good, though. Now, that was that is quite impressive. It's an 125 horsepower... I think that's 150 horsepower. I think, or is it? Oh, is it? Let's check. Actually, that doesn't sound right. Is it 90? No, 115. So actually, it could manage with it quite. True. Yeah, it could. It could even use the baler because the baler's a very low horsepower requirement. I like the shape of that. I really do. Hmm. I, I, I love the detail on it. I've got to be honest. Julian F. Modern, you are, are doing a cracking job. The map. You had a comment about the map, though, that. Uh, about the map maker hasn't done updates on the map so far we've not seen anything apart from perhaps those fields at the top 
he did there was a, a hint though by Julian uh, literally about looking around the map yeah additional field yeah I'm just just sort of yeah just to see if there's something I've missed yeah because sometimes as I said the, the free and it's not I, I don't really particularly care about that particular aspect but you never know no, these the, all all of them so far. Yeah, that one you can see. There's a bit of work needs doing on that. Yeah, there's an awful lot of uh, around the edges bits that are not real fields that you can buy, and they're not real fields that you can actually work as we sort of saw. Unless you can, yeah, yeah. It's a bit of weird detail on it. Yeah, so there's nothing. Not one of these is a a, a field that we're allowed to sort of craftily get like a. Like I was uh, hoping, but then again, if it was if it was a long way away, it, it yeah, I'll be honest. I, I think I'd sooner stick to what we're doing already. Right. Anyway, let's sleep through till tomorrow morning. And nine o'clock this time. Yeah. So we should get a couple more tick ups from our BJ business with the straw. Well, and we've got the grass as well now, so. Yeah, but that actually that will do the straw and the grass. So this should be the biggest tick up. Although, will the biogas plant? No, it'll process the air. The, the new that biogas plant has been augmented. That's better than I ever remember it. Uh, yeah, that's had a recent update. It's got to have because I, I, yeah, I've never seen it perform like it is has done recently. So there's, there's got to be something. Now. No, ours is, ours is up to the job, really, to be honest. We know that. It's, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Do we need a big tractor? We've already got one. It's true. It's, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's, it is a beautiful tractor, and I do like John Deere's. I, I, no, I, I call it as I see it. I do like a lot of the John Deere's. This is an older tractor, and it, it does steer quite poorly, which a lot of them did, although this is an older tractor, and this steers very well. So, yeah, it's... Uh, you win some, you lose some of that. Then you do get some manufacturers that do turn better than us. Fence turn well. Massey Ferguson's tend to have fantastic steering. JCB's a good all rounder. Yeah, so I mean, and then there are some like the Steyrer and um, oh, what's the, the one that I often forget? I think it's the Steyrer. I think it's the, yeah, it's the one that I'm. Yeah, the Zetas, some are good, some are bad. Yeah, what was that? That yeah, but that's not a bad one. It's not stay right? It's the orange tractors at the end. Are we a medium? Uh, it was Stara. I always get mixed up between the Stara and the Stara. The Staras, although I've got to be honest, these are not terrible. But yeah, they, they, they're not. It's not their best thing. Let's just put it that way. It really isn't. I was impressed with the tally handler. Now that I did like the Schaefer, that is a beaut. It really is. But we will be getting rid of the Roberts. And yeah, I'll be complaining to the shop. I think to say that we want. Yeah, we're going to lose value though if we leave this long, aren't we? How much would we get if we sold it direct? I know we're going to lose some money. Oh, I thought that was quite a bit more dearer than that. Was it was it that cheap? I thought it was a lot dearer than that actually. It was seven thousand, I thought. But then again, I might have been looking at the other ones, the ones with the hooks. And I can't remember if they were. Yeah, cause these are for round, aren't they? I'm sure they are. The doesn't tell you, does it? Ah, they were the seven thousand ones. No, it was reasonably cheap actually. Yeah, I'm not a fan. So we're not going to lose an awful lot. You know, something. Like, let's just yeah, let's get rid. And that sounds awful. No, I do like the pack, but as in all things, you, you, yeah, you you can order a. Is it that one? It is tall bale. God and Bennett long forks. I like that. And telehandler, yes. And I like the colours. I very rarely. 
change the colours on this. Now that I think we've gone back, yes, we have. We put it back to the shop, so we will be collecting those at some point. And they are my, yeah, absolutely uh, favourites. They really are with strap support only for bales. You can't do anything other than bales. I did at one point hope that you could actually do some crafty things, and I did try it on camera, but no, you can't. Yeah, so we have had one growth stage. We should have this grow again, and then it'll die back one stage. So, which is natural. Right, so we've looked at the sales and and we've had a very nice uh, increase of yeah. Let me another thing. Let me do whilst I'm thinking about it. So it is sitting down at the thing is another fertilizer pack and also another herbicide barrel. Yeah, I want to keep and we also want some more seeds for the coming. Ah, no, we don't because we're going sugar cane, aren't we? Thinking about it. We want some sugar cane. Oh, wow! Ah, yeah. Now that that you're better to go with the natural sugar cane, I think, unless they've changed it. It was a bit of a trick for those who, yeah, have never. Three hundred and eighty for two thousand liters. Although actually, a thousand for five. Not a lot in here, is it, really? 5,000, that's 3. Actually, I've got to be honest, yeah, that's pretty much of a muchness. Oh, no, but it's, it's not that kind of sugar cane. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, so we want to buy this ready for the... And it, it does cane it, so we're going to buy four, I think. We're not going to leave, yeah. We're not going to do the uh, that and say right. So that we've got that ready for next year. We've got some seeds. Oh no, did we do? I yeah, wouldn't do the seeds though, did we? Uh, do we? What? No, no, we don't need any. Not. I'm trying to be a little bit not extravagant. We've planted this field. We've got the sugar cane ready for that field. We've planted this field with grass, so we are quite happy. We really are. So let's sleep through till tomorrow morning. Where we should probably be just about running out of product to yeah so the BGA oh that is a point we are going to need a liquid tanker aren't we and that means we've probably got to park this in December because I'm going to have to go down to the shop ready for the next session so it's a natural break of the session yeah that has grown to second growth stage and now Great Demand at Ohio let's have a look shall we what the Great Demands are. Oh no, there is still oh, there is still seventy nine tons of grass because someone hasn't switched the grass silage on, have they? If we're going to get a tanker next time, it makes more thing that we switch that on, and I know we can't do it now, but yeah, if we go and grab the let's have a look. What's what is this great demand? And then we we'll look at the sales. Uh, I, I think we're looking in the wrong place. Sugar cane. Oh. Lime and oats. Now nah, that is a point. I was going to sell some of the oats. Um, yeah, this first year I'm very tempted to get maximum price. Oh wow, 270 tons of digestate. Wow, that, that, that I am impressed with. Yeah, we will be buying the slurry yard, but I'm not sure whether to. For once, I always do it on my own land. Oh, I'm going to see if we can stick it anywhere on the map. Is it more realistic that you've got to like go? I know I always say location, location. Oh, you know, I'd, I'd sooner settle for it myself. I would, in a way, if I'm honest. I really, really would because it's yeah, always but investing in a partner. Uh, yeah, I really do sort of think that's. And I suppose if you consider that this has lost some space, oh, the trouble is, I don't really do. I really want to. But if we go, if that's a sugar cane field, mind you, it's a big headland. I think we could fit this slurry yard in that where it widens out. Let me show you what I'm on about. Yeah, if we go down this end, there is that patch that's really, really wide about there. We may have to do that and get rid of that smaller tree. But uh, I don't mind sacrificing more. I don't like doing the big ones. But again, if it means the farm selling points, let's see, is it going to be. A goer, or do we do? That's a point. Do we do the fertilizer business this time? I 
We could, as we go out, have a bit of a reminder of which ones are good. We could. Wow, 327,000. That is amazing. Let's have a look at equipment. As in, like, the sales. Oh, wow. Did we? No, we didn't. I'm thinking, yeah, that's all right. I know what I'm thinking. Ooh. But that's an upgrade. And it's a better tank. Do we do the same as we have done before? I think that is, a, that is probably... Yeah, we'd be silly not to, really. Uh, let's be honest. 51.8 metres cubed for 29,000 is not bad. Oh, another tractor in that range. We, we, are, we are, I think, all tractored out. And that's rare for me to say that, really, because you can all often use... But that... Do we switch on the... Whoa. That's still brilliant. I like the colours of the green at the... Do we do weed spot spraying? Now, whilst we can afford it? I think so. I do if I might... Ooh. No, not not with the green. No. What happens if we did a bit of a darker purple? I'm not sure it goes with the tank. Hmm. I'm having fun with this, I really am. Go on, let's do it. Uh, let's, like, yeah. And we are going to take our sprayer down to the show. Yeah, in fact, do we have a bit of an outing? No, but I think we'll do that next session. Yeah, it is, we are, after all, going through the winter, so... Do we do... Yeah, no, that, so, yeah, that's as long as that grows now. So we need to buy a liquid tanker. Let's have a look, and we'll get that done now. I'm trying to think what we... Yeah, we want a tanker then that does water. Uh, we Yeah, we've got a lorry, so it makes more sense to... Now, uh, there are some in animals. And the, most of them are in trailers, though. We haven't got a hook lift. So we can't go for that option from Roy Christie. Can we? No, we haven't. I'm um, thinking, yeah, I'm thinking of all the different let's plays. That's a cracking starter, but we've gone beyond that now. We have. We, what if we're going to buy one straight away? We really want. Now that's crafty. I'd forgotten the TARDIS had got one of those. Oh, two hundred thousand. Yeah, even twenty thousand is a little bit of a push, right? So no, it's in standard trailers. I think T for trailer. I believe we're looking for. And of course, I probably will be going for the H2 Studios. Now, there is another one, the 53, um, that also can have, that, that's got a very versatile in so much as you can. Yeah, I mean, that's also brilliant, 106 tonnes. Obviously, you're then paying quite a lot for it, but yeah. Log forks and liquid tank very slow unload though very very slow unload. but it's versatility though it's quite amazing but yeah I'd, again um, I'd sooner sort of stick to yeah what well, I well we need to make a decision now don't we? because we need to, to get this done because the digester is going to bring in an awful lot of money and it is January December time No, have I just gone straight past it? Or is it miscellaneous? Do you know, you should know this. I should. Yeah, it's on my brain. Yeah, the brain's fried. It's been one of those days at work. Uh, it is in miscellaneous. I could have sworn it was in trailers. Have I not? Have I unticked something or something? I could have sworn it was in trailers. No, maybe not. No, 
Oh no, 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 I don't ever go for that. These ones are good, but they're not good for digest states. They're fantastic for milk. I often use them as the milk tankers. They, I really do. They're, they're almost unbeatable in value. Ah, that's a, that's a point, isn't it? These do... Six thousand, yeah. Now, I have tried that one, and it is good, but it's an, another very, very slow. It was a very, very slow one load. Ah, okay. Fuel tanker. Ah, okay. This is this is the one I'm used to. But has it changed? Because th this is an updated one, so maybe that this has changed, or maybe it is me. Just uh, no, we're not going unrealistic. Five hundred thousand. No way, Jose. Yeah, we will go all and no vinyls. Yes, fenders. No attaches. Do we do a trailer attacher as well? What are the chances of me trying to grab something behind that? Are oh, very, very. I like. We. I like the silver. It's. Yeah. I think we're going to go with that. Twenty-two thousand two hundred and twenty. So then, I know TL. Yeah, we've just had an update. So obviously, it was for that type of stuff. I, I, yeah, whether it has changed category, I'm not sure. I, I could have sworn it used to be in traders, but uh, yeah, it may have. I, I may have been imagining it. This is me, of course. Right, so we've got that ready for. Do we go? No, we oh, don't, because I want the grass to be processed for next session. Yeah, I'd sooner leave it as short one. We've done the grass. We've seen an awful lot of traction. We've got the winter to go through next session. We've got jobs to do. Yeah, we've got things to buy, go down from the shop, to pick up from the shop, we need to be taking the, yeah, we need to pick the forks up for this, which we could use the tally handler down at the shop just to stick them on this, so we need to be taking this, uh, but we need to be taking, ooh, yeah, that is a point actually, uh, we could convert the bumper pull, to this to bumper pull, should I say, down at the shop, did we buy a tractor? Is that one of the things we just bought? I can't remember. We bought quite a lot. I don't think we did, did we? No, we were more the selling. We've not got any medium track. Oh, wow. We've got no medium tractors. Everything's large. No, we have got medium tractors. I'm going to say we've got the John Deere. Yeah, they're all medium tractors. So, no, we didn't buy a tractor. So... We need to take a tractor with us. Let's get that ready for yeah next session, and we might need a front. So mind you, I need a smaller tractor. I don't want to be taking up half of the thing with that. So the Whitefield boss is a small tractor, as in like it's not a long body. Let's stick that on the back. That can grab any attachments. The telehandler down at the shop can grab the telehandler attachments and stick that on ready for our telehandler or no I like the three point on this it makes more sense and it is small as I said so to take this down to the shop next session seems more like it uh, yeah and we've got the telehandler down at the shop which its job is to uh, yeah telehandler for the shop basically smashing so we'll get this ready, ready pointing out of the yard ready to uh yeah and we'll go the proper way being as we're in the yard like up the path as you should do yeah i don't know what it is about the uh, agi pack they were they were coming nearly every day right and that's where we're going to leave it so yeah another episode of this, I have thoroughly enjoyed it. It's uh, it's true. I've done an Agres Balcones episode today, but it still was yeah more of a struggle. This I'm yeah really enjoying it. I, but then I think you always get a bit of newness 
with any kind of let's play at the beginning uh, this is the challenge and all sorts of nice things but although I've got to be honest I am enjoying the map it's very nice it really is but with no further ado I am going to say thank you very much for watching truly do hope you're going to stick with me on this journey thank you very much for all the comments as well everybody it's uh, fantastic lovely to hear from yourselves it is and I'm going to say goodbye for now